So yeah, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna see. I just need a couple people to come in. Um, middle of the afternoon. If anybody's watching, holler at me. Anybody? Um, what's going on, Sam? I I got a uh, who's the Kitty? She gone? I can't hear you. She still she gone or she still? Your mom? What? Stop playing. I'm live, bro. What? Stop joking. What? I will go there, nigga. Anyway, I'm listening. That's how I'm. <laughs> Whatever, man. Oh, uh, all my dogs is all my dogs know. My dogs know when I'm lying to. They like bullshit. Uh, uh, shut up! Shut up! Shit. All right, so look. I got a couple questions. Um. Key question, uh, who was the church that denied uh, Teresa for a funeral? Does anybody know? I just want to know. That's question number one. Anybody? See if I could put this. I'm not gonna be holding this fucking phone, yo. Uh, we 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 get on today, man. Uh, let's see if I can sit this. This gonna work? Yeah, this will work. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, does anybody know? Um, the church that denied her funeral service. Does anybody know? I'm probably looking for people in the Chicago area that can speak to me to let me know exactly what's the name of the church. If you don't have the name of the church, then that's just a question mark. I got a rabbit hole on that too. Because as, a, as an individual that's a member of a church that's got a lot of money. So we already know the hotel offered to pay for the funeral and she gladly said no. Just like they said she could see the tape, she gladly said no until she hired a lawyer. That's another video. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about this church that denied her. What was the name of the church? Anybody know? Because I was just sitting up. I normally be sleep around this time because I get off at 7 in the morning and I'm still up. And I remember something a week ago. I went back and did that research. People watching, does anybody know the church that denied Teresa Martin funeral arrangements or a funeral, so to speak? Does anybody? The manager of the hotel said nothing he could do when the mom said the daughter was missing. Well, the hotel technically doesn't have a manager. I exposed that. David Freeman was supposed to be the manager, but he's not the manager. He's the one of the owners, so to speak. As they say, he's one of the managers. No, no, no. One of the owners. I'm sorry. Correction. So he's one of the owners, but the FNF company that he's supposed to be owning, he doesn't own that company. He's the president of that company. You think it's uh, United Christ? Is that the only name, United Christ? I got my I got my notes here. I'm hoping it, it's the correct name. I don't I don't know the name of the church. I have a name of a church that would have gladly accepted her, and I got reasons why. 
I want to see a chat. I'm trying to see. It could look for her. Watch the tape. Maybe found her before she froze to death. Well, I don't think she froze to death. I, I'm, I'm denying the freezer theory. Because it, 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 that's what it is at this point. If you All this bullshit going on with videos and live video. It's a theory that she even went in the freezer. Personally. You know what I mean? So I, I don't believe the, the freezer thing. I, I'm on some shit like she was kidnapped. You know, I, I believe her organs were harvest, harvested. I believe she was taken from that building. That's my personal opinion. That's what I think. I think the whole freezer thing is just to throw everybody off the idea of her committing suicide. It's kind of like you could have said she went to the pool and died in the pool because they have an indoor pool. You could have said she was drunk, went into the pool, you know, died drowning. You could have said that. They didn't say that. So, what other thing could you have said? You know, she could have collapsed. Ambulance has to come on the scene, but if there's a freezer death and it's multiple hours pass, because multiple hours, anything could have been going on. That girl could have been away from the hotel for hours. She could have been kidnapped and... Man, they got plenty of time to take everything they want to take from that girl's body. That's just my personal opinion. Why didn't they look look at the videotape? They could have pinpointed her whereabouts. Apparently they did. And that's how they found she was in the freezer. That would be the last place you would look. If you want to look for someone that was last seen at your hotel. Being that she being that there's no video of her going in the freezer. It doesn't exist. When we, sh it should exist. If you see that entire that entire kitchen, it should exist. But I don't want to talk about that. I need somebody to tell me what's the actual name of the church. I, I, somebody said United in Christ. Is that the actual church? Is that the correct name? I forgot the guy's my brother's name here. Uh, Hebrews or us? Is that the actual name of the church? You you said U I C. Are you sure about that? I'm not calling you truth, telling me the truth or not. I just want to know if that's the actual truth. Because, you know, we're giving people phone calls. And for people sweating me about the other video with the with the the, uh, the realty, they, they know they were being recorded. I just edit that part out because I ain't want nobody knowing my name. <laughs> you know, I said my number, I deleted all of that. You know, I edit that part of the video. That's why it's not live. So, no, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not, listen, the worst th thing that could happen to me is they could find out I'm, I'm exposing the fuck out of them and they could come get me. But I've done, I've done all type of shit on my old channel. I'm not worried about nobody coming to get me. Not sure, thought, thought I heard the activist say it. Yeah, that activist is full of shit. We're going we gonna to open a can of worms on him, too. Because him and Andrew Holmes are... You remember, they was right, they was right next to each other. They, they were like this. So, Chris, that's all I want, nigga. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Andrew Holmes and, and, and that guy, they like this. They were they were right there next to each other, standing in unison. And you know he was he was lying the whole time about he he saw her go in the freezer. He knew he was lying the whole time. But all the activists doing is now he's just taking his moment. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. If you got two people, cause it was three people, you got three people there, right? One is a liar. One you don't really, you're not really sure about. So the other guy that separates himself from the liar and the guy that seems like he's full of shit because people in Chicago say he's full of shit. The one that separates from the guy that's full of shit, this particular individual becomes friendly to you and you become more passive to him and you accept him because he separates himself from Andrew Holmes. Simple psychology. It's not complicated. Simple. So now he seems more passive and, you know, he, he's cool. Like, okay, he ain't like Andrew Holmes. He's rejecting Andrew Holmes. Not knowing that they just like this. 
there's an activist involved with this paper over here. I got some, some things on this paper, which I, I want to make the video Monday. So I got a lot of shit I got to do Monday. I got a health department to call in Cook County and in, uh, it's another county too. I'm, I'm going to get into that. Yeah, Andrew Holmes is a big fraud. He's been a fraud since day one. J Jediah. Mentioned the church in his video live. Oh, goodness. I got to go. Kitty! Are you up? Because it's like I got to get my iPad. Yeah, you got to question. You got to question anybody that get involved with the woman. You got to question the attorneys, too. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't no, I ain't never had, I had one criminal case and that was for a bogus drive out. But I do know the history of lawyers, it's lawyers and judges, they all eat lunch together and they sometimes sleep together. Your money is the only thing that matters to them. That's the rule of law. Your money is the only thing that matters. If there's no money involved with this case, they walk away and they don't give a fuck about their lady. And in most cases, their lady don't give a fuck about nobody but the money. So everybody's on the same page. They just hoping they'll cross each other out. You talking about the dude who had the purple bandana around his neck? Yeah, he's playing the game with them. That's Kanika's favorite color. I'm going to wear Kanika's favorite color. You know? Got a question the sister too. Crit. Hey. I ain't know you was here. Hey. Yeah, how you think that's why I was I, was, I ain't know you. I thought you was gone. Yeah, Do me a favor in my backpack, give me my iPad. Where you gonna be at? Uh in my backpack. Oh, in the big in the big one. In the big it's in the box. Reby, I ain't cloud chasing. If you think I'm cloud chasing, stop chasing me. Seem like you chasing the cloud chaser. Oh, oh yeah, I know, bro. Cloud chasing. How the fuck I'm cloud chasing? I ain't, I ain't got a video monetized on my channel. I ain't got to come up. Come, Chris, I'm trying to come up. Wait a minute. So how come the niggas is cloud chasing but all these females? Make you know who cloud chasing? The motherfucking chasing. mama. I ain't gonna talk about that. I can't talk about. It. Let me tell you. You see that? <laughs> Remember? Don't say the name. Don't say the amount. But you see, that's a lot of money. Ain't it? It's a lot of money. Ain't it? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Remember? Yeah. Now, don't say nothing. You remember somebody talked about that on the show, did it? Mm -hmm. I did. So we ain't gonna talk about that. You talking about cloud chasing? Her motherfucking mama cloud chasing. Well, don't, well, don't come here saying it to me. I know people cloud chasing, but don't come say it to me. You make it seem like you're talking to me. I don't... I, listen. If anything, I've been doing the most honest videos. I haven't... I haven't changed... A lick of thought. I've been doing... I've been doing everything strictly on giving information that don't nobody got. I'm not the repetitive dude. No disrespect to Mike, but that dude is repetitive as hell. And everybody came to watch him every day. I'm giving a live feed because I'm asking questions. It'd be nice if you asked me, since you say I'm cloud chasing, why don't you answer the question? But I'm finna go pull this video up. But I got another question. What's the second church that did accept to do her funeral on September the 30th? Does anybody know that question? I mean, an answer to that question? I hate Apple. It should take forever. I see why eight people watching. It's eight people that care. And if it's if it's three people that, that care, I care about that. So I, I don't care who watches. I ain't tripping. I ain't asking for no money. I don't need no PayPal. I ain't got none of that. This ain't what this ain't pay, this ain't none of that. If nobody was listening, I would make the video, I would cut it off. Like I did from the jump when I first started. My first video was about Andrew Holmes. You know why? That was the first motherfucking problem. Was him. Of course you got the guys, and but I don't, listen, that's the issue, but I can't get the issue because we know the videos have been tampered. So now I'm going around everything because at this point, if the videos are being edited, they're covering up the so-called gangsters that's behind the whole thing. So that's dead. 
Y'all can get past it. That's dead. That shit over with. Now what's behind closed what's behind door number two, three, four, and five? Now nah, please don't donate to me. I'm the one that's gonna tell you don't donate to me. I I don't even know how to do the soup. Chris, you gotta cut super chat on, don't you? You gotta turn that on. Super chat. Oh really? I ain't got a thousand subs, so yeah, stop but, uh, talking about the super chat. <laughs> yeah, they, they donate to PayPal. You got a PayPal. Right? Yeah, yeah. I I got a PayPal, but I don't want no money. I don't want no money. This ain't about no. This ain't about uh, I ain't, fuck it. I ain't Mike Larry. Take that shit to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take that shit to him. Y'all sat back. It was four, five hundred people watching him. He was asking for money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know how to ask people for my I've never had. And once upon a time, I had I had about eight thousand subs, and I lost that channel. But I wouldn't. I never asked anybody for no money. But anyway, oh hold on, Mike. Oh, speaking of the de damn, Mike Larry must have. <laughs> by Todd spoke him up. He did a. Uh, he uploaded a video, um, two minutes ago, according to my notifications. So I just did a burn. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me read this comment. See, I'm, I came to try to find the guy, Jedi or whatever his name is. Somebody just left a comment on my, uh, my video. And, um, if y'all, if y'all got a way of, uh, fuck. Oh, I hate, I hate having an iPad, bro. I'm an Android nigga. I'm sorry. This shit is, goodness. Anyway. All right, so this is what she, I'm, I'm actually show y'all what she wrote. Well, it's not going to look right, is it? Yeah. I'm going to show y'all what she wrote. Uh, name is Jessica F. All right. That's what she wrote. Can I, can I get a, I think it's not going to look right, but. Why are they burying her without toxicology report? Oh man, we 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 moving too fast. See, I, I can't talk about that. I got I I really want to wait till there's an autopsy with the results and everything. I really want to wait, but I I'm just giving y'all what I can. Now somebody wrote a comment. She said, "Okay, this is not right." So I just did a birth record check on searchquery.com. Kanika Jackson, Chicago, Illinois. The youngest person on there. Is 30 years of age. What the fuck? She was born in another state. There's also no death certificate, people. I, I researched that this morning. I thought about that because somebody was like, what if this is Trayvon Martin all over again? And I, a lot of people believe Trayvon Martin. I, I don't. I listen. Wait. I'm moving too fast. There's also no death certificate, people. What the fuck? This best not be fake. <laughs> A fake death story like so many before. I know this sounds crazy, but you know clones exist. What if her what if it was her clone they killed pretending pretended to be killed? Jessica F, I'm gonna need for you to fucking get your grandma together. Uh this makes no sense. Everything is possible. Anything, you mean. Uh everything is possible. <laughs> I've been watching it vid after vid and something other than the lies and cover up just don't sit right. There are layers to this. Yeah, you, I, I, be, I believe some of that. I don't I don't know about because I haven't done no research on our birth or, or, or Kanika Jenkins in Chicago, Illinois. But where um when y'all guys say the Jediah video, was it the one where he was talking about the mom on the phone? Well he was like uh what do you want? Is that the video y'all talking about? But somebody answered my question about the church that did accept it. Does anybody know the church that accepted her? Anybody? That niggas be killing me. Shocking discovery. I solved the case. 
Y'all ain't never seen me say no shit like that. I just call it the rabbit hole. And in a rabbit hole, it's a never ending hole. You go and go and go. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to the other side of the grass. I want to get eventually come up and get out the fucking underground. I'm trying to find the video of him going live. Cause I wanna I wanna take y'all word for it, but I'm not that I'm not that kind of guy. Goodness. I can't I can't. Cause somebody put the link to the actual video with him going live where he actually said the church that denied us service, funeral service. Somebody help me out, please. Cause I'm re I'm I'm on YouTube and I can't find anything. I see other stuff, but I don't see that video. Yeah, I'm spelling his name right. I have been following this story since it happened. Mm -hmm. Then I find your channel and I see the entire body. What's the, uh, what do you mean by the entire body? What do you mean? That, uh, that Andrew Holmes nigga hairline been looking the same forever. Yeah, she only seen her face. Mom only saw her head. Why she only saw her head? That's that, and I, I I remember her saying the neck up. What does the neck up mean? Like that's weird. Like did she say she had clothes on? I can't find that article either. Somebody post the link because I can click the link and actually see where he actually said the church name. The guy in the chat said uh, United in Christ Church. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go somewhere with this. This is I don't want to be up here too long. Neck up, head and face. That's it. Well, they trying to say like, uh, uh, goodness, that, that don't make sense. That sound like a head was cut off or decapitated. What kind of? What kind of shit is that? That's that don't make sense. Does she have different clothes on? Cause if she didn't have her clothes on, that's another problem. The rest of her body was covered. Covered in what clothes? Her her body has been tampered with all the others. That's what I said. If, if they if they found that girl in the freezer, the original story is bullshit about her being in the freezer. Because you can't put a person in a freezer and then unthaw them and then take their organs, especially if they were on drugs. So you have to take the person, get the organs, then put them on ice. Not the organs per se, but the actual individual. If you're going to play that game of putting her in the freezer as if she was there the entire time. But she said, um, why did the mother say she found a ticket from the hotel parking on the 6th at 1.39? And she was supposed to be on the 10th. She wasn't supposed to be there on the 10th. She was supposed to be there on the 8th. She, this, was, this was the 8th. The night is when it went in overnight, 12 in the morning. But she did say the 6. And the 6, I'm pretty sure if they really cared, they would go back to the 6. Because if she had a parking ticket for the 6, something ain't right either. Supposedly she picked up one of the girls from work. Yeah, because you know she the one with the car. So everybody, everybody's your friend when you the only one with a car. That's how that work. We, we black people and the white people, hell, they know too. You know how they go. And whoever got the car, that's the friend. Everybody liked her. Because she had the car. Plus she was good looking. And everybody else was funny looking. 
So the girl, the pretty girl Kanika is the one that everybody connect to because she's the pretty girl. Ain't nobody answering my question. What was the name of the church? And ain't nobody posting the link. I'm just gonna take y'all word for it. Fuck it. All right, so let's let's get to let's get to the issue here. Uh, I hate my damn iPad. Um, T-Mobile made me pay for this shit. Anyway, so um, do y'all know anything about her GoFundMe page? Not a GoFundMe, but it's a crowdfunding source. Um, I forgot the name of it, but does anybody know about? Teresa Martin and her crowdfunding and how much money she got. I'm going to connect the dots. I'm going to walk you down with it. I'm going to walk y'all down. I'm not going to take long. I took too long trying to find out answers. So let's, I'm just going to go around. I'm going to move around. United in Christ is the church. We're going to roll with that. Uh, there ain't no guarantee if that's true. Does anybody know about the crowdfunding she got? And it's real. It's hers. So you, you ain't got to question that. You have any, anything about a crowdfunding? Tell me somebody in this chat know about a crowdfunding she started. And it's not made up. Because it's a lot of goddamn money on it. And the people who donated to her know who exactly who she is. Got over 25000 Ain't that right? Yes, yes it is. Yes, she did. Kotor Eloquence just answered the question. She actually got 26000 As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Because some of y'all need a little push. <laughs> that dude... I fuck with homie, man. They do funny as hell. Foodie call dates. You see that? It might not come out right, but try. Try, try, try. Try to. That's what I hate about this shit. Can y'all see that? Let me know if y'all can see that. Anybody can see that? Let me back up a little bit. As close as I can get it. I can't get the camera to focus. I wish it would, but it won't. So, can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that? Goodness. Uh, Can I turn this camera around? Yes, I can turn this camera around. Y'all need to be looking at me no more. I'm ugly as hell. Let's get... Uh, all right, here we go. Let me see. Because I can't get the back camera to focus. All right. Y'all can see it now, can you? See that? Let me put this up here. We we ghetto, man. We we hood. All right, anyway. See that? Organizer, Teresa Martin. All right, this is the crowdfunding page, okay? $26,167.7500 was the goal. Raised by 263 donors. All right? You can donate. Every share can raise $37. I don't understand what that means, but I guess they call that a ratio. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all. I'm going to give y'all the video I wanted to make. I'll give y'all a little sh a, a, a little push of a snippet. I'll do that. All right. Now, I want y'all to always question the amounts hidden i understand people want to be anonymous but that's another that's another issue that ain't my problem and that ain't the problem we talking that ain't what we talking about right now all right give me a second i know when i find it because it said a week ago these are days Almost there. Are we almost there? Yeah, we almost there. Cause I know the name when I see it, and they donated twice. Did that go too far? 
I think I went too far. Yeah, I went too far, I believe. No, I didn't. Because I remember seeing that name. Oh, I did. Hold on. Oh, goodness. I know it ain't going nowhere. I got the video on my cell phone I'm holding right now, so I'm not worried about if I don't see it again. It's too late. I just want to be able to show y'all live right quick. Hold on. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me. Give me a second. We don't have any technical difficulties. Just trying to find a name. I'm going to need for uh, people, especially if you're in the Chicago area, I need to know if y'all know who this guy is. Goodness, come on. Okay, so it was before the 13th line, 13th page. There you go. All right. See that donation right there? Isaiah Doss Enterprise Incorporated. On behalf of Isaiah Doss Enterprise Incorporated, our CEO, Isaiah Doss, we send our heartfelt love to Teresa Martin and the entire family of Kanika Jenkins. If there is anything we could do, please feel free to reach out to us. Annie Rose Elliott, CFO, which is Chief uh, Chief Financial Officer. That's what I remember. And ten thousand dollars, right? Focus, goddamn it, focus, focus. Ah, uh, come on, man. All right, here we go. Focus. All right, yeah, ten thousand dollars. All right. Now that's ten thousand dollars, right? Wait. Hi, uh, whoever you are, I can't fucking see your name. All right. Now, Isaiah Doss himself donated $10,000 also. I'm sorry, Kanika was a great student. I wish you the best. All right. I know you want to know who is Isaiah Doss. Does anybody know who that is? Don't go Googling. That's unfair. You... I'm going to go ahead and make this the video. This, this is going to be the video. Fuck it. I'll do this. And we'll just do the rest of it. I'll go. Mom last name is Mari Kanika Jenkins. Her father last name. But her Facebook is Kanika Mari. Yeah. And, and now that I think about that, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, the person that looked her up. Well, she's not in the chat. She, made, she left a comment on my video. Uh, the rabbit hole, the second rabbit hole. Um, you're gonna have to look up Kanika Martin, not Kanika Jenkins, to to search. But I, I'll do that on my own time. Does anybody know who Isaiah Ro uh, Doss is? What's up, Jeremy, my nigga? What's happening? <laughs> right, Isaiah uh, Isaiah Doss apparently got a lot of fucking money. Uh, he's he has a ministry. Um. He, he he donated twenty thousand. Well, I think he donated ten, but the chief financial officer CFO she donated ten thousand. So it's twenty thousand collectively, which got you to the twenty thousand twenty six thousand dollars anyway. People said why so much money being raised twenty five thousand dollars is a lot. No, yeah, yeah, I, I agree, Victoria. But the Isaiah Doss and his company they donated twenty thousand. Now, I did some research. You know, dude got stocks. He got stocks in the WWE. Uh, he's got a ministry. and he, You know, I saw a picture of him standing out on the corner. Honk for Jesus. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Apparently, he was, he was a teacher because he works for the Chicago Public Schools. Uh, well, this guy is also a member of the new original Church of God in Christ. And what's odd to me, and I'm going to put the... Well, I gonna put the address out there because I don't, I don't, you know, I I don't want to put that out there. But y'all can Google that. 
I don't want to be the one to say I put the address out on this live video since I'm clout chasing. So, um, I, and from my understanding, I think that's on the south side, so it's not on the west side. So apparently the church that I just called out, New Original Church of God in Christ, they're not taking the funeral because she claimed that the church is on the, on the west side, a nice church. Buy her casket could take up half of what was raised. I agree. She has a you carrying a fundraiser on a on a Facebook mom, and she don't talk about that. She don't talk about that crowdfunding, to my knowledge. Maybe she has. I don't know, but that's irrelevant that she talks about it or not. She's gotten the money, and the money is not the issue. The money is who gave her the money. Who is that person? See, this is what I call the rabbit hole. I look around things and I I question everything. Like you just gave you will it you just willfully just gave twenty thousand just out of nowhere. Like how did you know that crowdfunding was real? That's the question I'm asking when I see it. Like how did she know that's really her? Just gave up twenty thousand dollars that easy? Like that? Hmm. And it was a week ago, ladies and gentlemen. This just didn't. This just didn't happen out out of nowhere. It's just this bit. This was a week ago. Exactly, Miss Jones. Follow the money. And what I mean by following the money is people gotta see. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I became a trendsetter when I think about this research thing. Is why I sat back for days watching everybody talk about all this crap about the videos, right? I'm going and thinking, as I'm watching everybody, I said, everybody's being very repetitive. We get it. The videos are edited. And then they find this and they find that. Oh, oh, you didn't see this. And you didn't see that color and this color and this shadow, that shadow. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I believe the videos are edited. And now there's a new thing with the live video with the face being blurred. But where's the original upload? Who's the original channel the video came from? Since we know things can be edited, they ready to move on, keep making money. Exactly. Follow the money. And you know who ain't got the money? Them niggas. They ain't got the money. And if they do, they ain't talking. That dude left town, psh, he might be the fucking co-conspirator. He might be the, uh, what they call the man behind the mastermind. And he left town. He might be organ harvesting. Why nobody says that black people can do this shit? Funerals are expensive, of course. Where are the rest of the vids? That's why I want to know where are the who actually uploaded that live video anyway. That should be footage. Because remember, we already exposed the actual girls that was doing all this. See, see, it's right there. It's right there. You see this? This, this is nut, his nutsack is over there. Look at the girl booty is over here. Her titties is out. All that old crazy shit. That video was fuck. That video was fake. And to show you how dumb people are, the the let's say this this was the screen of the video. In the video, this was the screen, right? And this section right here was a shadow, it was a light, like a glare. The glare was on the screen and on the top of the TV screen in the black areas of the screen. I saw that the first time I saw that, I said, oh, that's not what they, they seeing some reflection of some move from somebody else moving it and watching it. It's a reflection of the reflection from the actual watching of recording of a screen. So, that's bullshit, right? But I'm I'm black I'm I'm black I'm black I'm blob of shit to the tongue tied. So my thing is, is you follow the money. Somebody said my uh somebody said what I the owner is it was on a Jewish holiday. Yes yesterday indeed, Nicole. And uh I wanna address this and, and I don't wanna address it again because my video is self explanatory. In 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 businesses they have these things called acting puppets or flunkies, right? The David Freeman is not the U.S. ambassador to Israel that we're talking about when it comes to the Crown Plaza, okay? 
No, 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 Nicole, hold on, follow me, follow me, <laughs> follow me, I feel what you're saying, but follow me, right? Alright, the David Freeman in the actual so-called management of Crown Plaza, now that we found out, according to the people in his realty company, that they actually managed the building, he's the CEO, or he actually owns Crown Plaza, one of the owners, but he's president of the realty company. Now, there are two different men, but the thing about David Freeman, that particular one, you can't find nothing about that dude. And if he's supposed to be an attorney, but you can't find a law office. You can't find no nothing about the guy. So I believe he's a flunky puppet acting as somebody else with the same first and last name, same age, same He's a, but they both Jewish. They're both attorneys, and they're both the same age. Both first and last name spelled the same way, same middle initial. What is the coincidence that that's the same person? It's not the same person visually, no. But you can't find a video on that Dave Freeman, and you can't find no other information even on his LinkedIn account. Yeah, the, the, the site is shut down. The LinkedIn account has no information. I exposed all that in the video. But I also gave y'all the information because the reason I put up the phone call is because the phone call tells you that that individual is not David Freeman. He's not actually David Freeman because if he was, you will find information about that guy. So the ambassador just may. That may be the actual owner, but he doesn't deal with the company. He only gets paid in the background while this particular individual pretends to be me. They're called puppet actor flunkies. He's acting as if he's a different David Freeman and he is not. You can't find nothing on that guy. That guy is the most non-transparent guy I've ever seen in business. Like I've been chall I challenge anybody, David Freeman, go find some information about the guy that's supposed to be the owner of Crown Plaza. You can't find anything about him. You see that? Yeah, you can't find nothing about the guy. The guy is like the biggest secret in the world. And he's supposed to have a business? He's supposed to work for a business? And this business has property. They have property for rent and for sale. Right. Yeah, see, Victoria, it's, a, it's deeper than just one person. It's deeper than just a group of niggas in a hotel getting getting high and drunk and somebody, you know, possibly killed or left in a hotel. That shit is deeper than that. It's a cover up. And how you cover things up? Well, first you got to get rid of the evidence. And then the next thing you know, you got to protect the people from talking. What if one of these niggas just said, hey, man, we I, we put in the freezer. You know that conversation that everybody think the little screenshots. Don't y'all think those uh, Because I don't know if they real. I, I just know if somebody said all that and they ain't arrest them by now. It's fake. Because those are confessions. Y'all got to start thinking for a minute. But I'm going to say this. The Isaiah Doss donated twenty thousand dollars, right? He's a member of New Original Church of God in Christ. He has an enterprise. He has plenty of money, apparently. So if he can give her $20,000, why he can't just get the people to do her funeral? Why hasn't she mentioned Isaiah Doss? I'm just asking. These are questions y'all need to ask. Yeah, he gave $20,000. Look it up. Well, you can rewind this video. You know, it'll be up. Allegedly, 20 plus people were questioned and no one was arrested. 
Nah, they not gonna arrest her. Did you hear about her dad being dead for months and she she mm -hmm. was found? A lot of footage is supposed to be. A lot of footage is supposed to be old and she has a body double. I don't believe that body double crap. I just I can't. Like there's a body double with there's an actor being edited. <laughs> I just I can't. My mind, I logically I can't get past that. Yeah, no one's gonna be stuck. Every listen, like that Planet of the Face dude, because he called himself like listening to Tommy Sotomayor's uh, news cha uh, channel, not news channel. Yeah, it was a news channel because I he took I I got on Skype with Tommy, and I told what I think about the situation. That means he brought that up. Yeah, the body double. The listen, people. The camera is a wide lens camera. It's gonna make her look bigger. So you can't compare the picture of the girl sitting in the bathroom on a cell phone compared to that bullshit surveillance. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 that could that could be all that stuff could be edited, but that's the girl. It has to be. If it's not the girl, why would they they could have just perfectly had the actor act out without editing. That's not complicated to do. They made things you if you believe that they made things complicated, then it should have been. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it, it's not far fetched, but it's far fetched to say that maybe these videos okay if you're gonna believe that okay believe the girl is actually not really Kanika she's acting okay let's just say the police put a lot of this funny shit in the video to make everybody assume that it's edited and find out about it that could be a situation that could be the issue they could be playing with the video just to fuck with y'all and it had brought so much content to YouTube where there's literally hundreds of people talking about this video and that video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave y'all because I got to go. It is it's football Sunday. I should be asleep, but I might as well stay up and watch football and give me a little rest before I go to work tonight. There's a video I'm going to share with y'all. And I want y'all to sub to this guy. And um, if he doesn't do it, I'm going to do it because I didn't think to um do it myself. Uh, how do I get to the yellow brick road? The yellow brick road. Okay. Uh, here we go. Like video. All right. Here we go. I rain holds a management position. I mean, you know. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta ask yourself like the person that actually worked there. How do y'all know she didn't edit the videos? Y'all can't blame the news people. You know what I'm saying? Because there's hard footage of the, uh, there's raw footage of the stuff being released from the actual hotel before they were edited. And I'm just wishing that guy gets some info. I'm scrolling and shit. Where is the video I want y'all to see? Here we go. Uh, all right, watch this with me, y'all. Let me turn this around. Oh, I'm going to play it. And if y'all want to watch it, his channel is that knock design, okay? Spelled just like this. All right, look that guy up. I'm going to put the bell. Excuse me, y'all. Let me put the bell on my guy. Boom. Uh, notifications. All right, yeah, cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to watch people that bring new stuff to the table, man. And I was like, let me see if I can filter it. You see it? And um, he's filtering the video. Find out how the edits were done, and um, see if I can find any flaws. And when I was doing it, I found something that was kind of puzzling. When I made it into this inverted type of um, filter, I was able to see things I am not able to see on the regular footage. Tell me if y'all can see the same things. 
it, it seems like it's bringing it out more. The stuff that they edited and fixed. Watch this. Like you, you know, can see it right there. Show you what I'm doing. Somebody is she pulled away from somebody? End, you saw the hand right there. Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> All right. Right now, I'm about to show about itself, and this shit is kind of creepy. Look at this, man. The whole time, it looks like somebody is with her. So she came the... back, you see? Pay attention to the dark areas surrounding her because that's the edited version. That's the killer. They edited him out. So you can still see it though. Pay attention to the shadows. Mm -hmm. Um, this helped y'all out. If y'all can see the same thing as I'm seeing. Peace. And like I said, sub to that guy, man. Um, let me see. Goodness, I wanted to check out that Vic Mister interview. Go back before I get a copyright strike. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Let me see if he... Because I haven't put the bell on, dude. I just subbed to him about an hour ago. Goodness, man. Look at iPad. I'm clicking dude's name, man. It won't even click. Okay, here we go. Let me see if he did a new video yet. But I gotta know how to do this. Or well, if anybody knows how to do this, um, get the raw videos. Cause I and if y'all don't know, like I said uh, in the other video, um, Fractal Truth. F R A C T A L Truth T R U T H Go to his channel Get the raw videos If you know how to do this Go to the raw videos And go get the actual footage From the hotel Nothing funny about none of that So go get those videos And uh, I'm going to filter Because I want to high filter that uh, Elevator scene that I showed In my previous video that I got from the raw video because the second time that when she got out the elevator that second when that elevator opened up in the middle I think somebody got on the elevator or got off the elevator and then there was the third elevator to open up and it's a lady and a boy with the thing around his neck and people saying this might be a, a sleep pillow and I'm like nah because the you know the, the swimming pool is 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 uh the swimming pool is is indoor inside the hotel and it's tw I don't know if it's 24 hours but I don't think there's a I don't know I don't I don't know but what I do know is that that girl has no business with a boy down in the lower level because I don't think there's any rooms down I think there's a conference level conference room and office rooms am I right that's what I thought. So for her to be down there, I don't know. That's odd. 
and it's only a three because they edit the time so it's three four three to four minutes apart and if Kanika's you know getting stumbling here stumbling there stumbling here stumbling there uh some kind of way she had to have seen that girl but in that in this video right here for people that don't know go look up the videos i made you can actually Huggy, you never had sex, which is in weird places. Uh, yeah, I fucked in a ditch. I fucked in a church. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I know it's the fake ass chastity. Is that the real chastity? Is that the fake one? <laughs> now, chastity wouldn't ask no question like that. Anyway, um, yeah, Ch chastity wouldn't ask no question like that. That was you. Now, because she wouldn't say it was her. And I can't click it right now because I'm live. But anyway, so in this video, if people don't know where she, where the video started, where she's walking toward the stairs, that's the kitchen she came from, okay? She eventually went back to the kitchen. But somebody either guided her or lost her from the kitchen, and then she comes back out the kitchen and then back in the kitchen, Okay? So apparently, they had been trying to get her to go to the kitchen. They lost track of her going to the kitchen, and she either turned around and went the other way. And that's why I said this is sloppy. Because even that door, when you go do the research on the other videos I did, if you can't find the actual tour of the old of the, of the kitchen like the lady did, you can clearly see that double door right there where the stairway is, and it's a guy that goes inside that door. When you go inside that door, it's a push door. There's no door to put, you know, open up. You can easily walk through the kitchen. And what's funny to me is this kitchen is just so easy to get to. And it's not closed off. It's not sealed. There's no yellow tape, no locks, no nothing. You can just, in the middle of the night, because the girl went through there late at night and nobody was there. She was just by herself. And she had to be, like, you had to be a... a a gangster motherfucker to just walk in a, a kitchen like that in the middle of the night knowing somebody just so-called died in this kitchen, which I like, I, st I stand by. I don't believe the freezer thing. I believe that girl was guided out that building because they don't have no outside footage either. And I know they got parking lot footage. I know they do. Every hotel has outside parking lot. But the outside parking lot will prove some shit too. So you got to cover everything on all four corners. You can't show the outside because I believe that girl was guided out the building. I think she was kidnapped. Took her organs. And if they did bring her back, that's what happened. But if they did bring her back, then the story is phony behind the idea of bringing her back. I think they kidnapped and took her organs. And if, and if she never came back to the freezer, her mom identifying her has to be a lie. You have to question everybody. Hell, question me. Question everybody that's talking about this, doing anything about this, and involved with this. You can't let nobody off the hook. Andrew Holmes, the Jediah, whatever the fuck his name is, the mom, the sister. You can't count nobody out. You got to question everybody. I question the guys. I, I question the whole gang situation and the pot and the murder of a brother. And yeah, I'm questioning all of that. But the cover up is being done. It's been done. It's not being done. It's done. The cover up is done. And when it's autopsy come back, that's gonna be the proving point. They're gonna come up with all their bullshit excuses. They're gonna tell you what happened. They're not gonna say foul play. They're not gonna say the girl got raped. None of that shit is gonna happen. But mm -hmm. I don't want to hold y'all up. I appreciate y'all. It is football Sunday. Kenny, you up yet? He still asleep? I think the Broncos play it either now or they play it at three. My son's a Broncos fan. But look, look, um, I ain't cloud chasing y'all. I don't want no money from nobody. My channel's not monetized. I ain't got no subs. I ain't nobody. I just care about the truth. And that goes for the same thing. I've done videos about 9-11, supposing 9-11 with fake planes not being used. I've done a lot of research. I'm not afraid of this shit. This shit is nothing to me. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I've exposed so much shit in the last 10 years of being on the internet. I should have been dead by now. I'm just saying. So I'm not worried about exposing it. If something happens to anybody behind this shit, it's obvious that, well, we have to be telling the truth. And and listen, don't be the one looking for everybody to talk about this shit. You pick up a video, you pick up a phone, you pick up a camera, you talk about it, you get you look some information up. If it's just 10, 10 minutes, 10, 10 hours or ten seconds, show whatever you think. You know, pull some stuff out the hat. Maybe it's something that you know, maybe it's something you see that I don't see. Maybe it's something you know I don't know. Like this Isaiah Doss, I'm, I'm gonna get into that. I'm getting into the health department. I'm gonna call them Monday. I'm going deep into this shit. I'm because I want to talk to the health department. You got an answer to the fact that there's a video of a lady touring your free, free, uh, freezer and, and everything, and y'all got padlocks and padlocks being broken. So this free, this kitchen is being used. You also got a video of a guy getting lost and he ended up in your kitchen. You had a lady. With food on a rack. So that kitchen is being used. It is. And that's that's horrible that the health department has not done anything about that. Dead bodies in the freezer? Come on, man. If you watch part of the video where the girl comes out the bathroom with the drug. Drink. You can see her, I guess. Okay, and what y'all not realizing is that. According to the live video, even after the girl was sitting in the chair, the girl with the white top can be seen in the video in the second half of it. She could be seen when they start rapping the song. You could see the girl in the white top and Kanika is sitting on the right. The girl doesn't have Kanika clothes on. There's no proof that Kanika was killed in that room. You can assume that, but remember, if they blurred her face out, you can't do it on Facebook Live. You can't. The only way you could do it on Facebook Live is if you have some type of production team <laughs> that they can actually pull the CGI off in Facebook Live. If that's the case, you got to question how the dude got shot in Chicago. You got to question uh, the guy. Remember the guy that's supposed to have shot the dude? Uh, what was his name? The one that got killed. In the, he was a lone gunman in Philadelphia, I believe. The one that skipped town. Remember that? Do you know who the hotel owners are? I know one of them. His name is David Freeman. He's not a manager. He's the owner of it. He's one of the owners. So you can't be asking me questions. You ain't doing your research. You came to the guy. You asking me dumb questions. Come on, Chastity. You got to catch up. <laughs> I got a video on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling the health department Monday. I can't call them on the weekend. That's the only reason. If I could call their ass, I called their ass Friday. As a matter of fact, no, nah, I can't play that video because I got my number and shit on there. And I don't want to, I don't want that to slip out. But I did. I do have a recording. Cause I, I got frustrated, like, cause I, I tried to catch them like 20 minutes before they closed in the health department. I couldn't get them on the phone, but I called the Crown Plaza. I have yet to get a call back about the health department score. Like I was, I was curious. I was like pulling their leg, like, let's see if they tell me something about the health department making a visit. Cause I was going to ask, what's the health department score? You tell me the score. Okay. Well, look, uh, when was that health inspection? Because if I'm coming to stay there and give me a room, I have every right to know the answer to what is your health department score? The main CPO managers, somebody see what they can find on her. Let me write that down. Hold on, y'all. Good looking now, Mr. Uh, Stoner. That's a cool name, Andy Stoner. Oh shit, the chat went away. You're a dealer, Andy Stoner. What y'all know about Franco's? That's a cool ass little gay nigga. I can't just stop calling him gay, cause I, you know, in Hollywood, bro, anybody can be gay, but you ain't never say Frank Ocean with a man. That's another video. But anyway, Keith Barr.
Yeah, Keith Barr is, is, is non-transparent too. No, 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 not him. It's the guy, Christopher, uh, Christopher, um, uh, b -b 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 -b. Christopher, it's not Williams. I'm thinking about the singer. Christopher something, but he, I found some information on Keith Barr. I couldn't find no information on Christopher. I thought Keith Barr, uh, education was odd because it don't say what high school he went to. It only had college. Now, I don't know if that's how LinkedIn works. Like, you could just omit your high school, you know, history and just go straight to college degrees, bachelor's, doctor, whatever. I don't know if that's how that works. Yeah, convict. You know, yeah, you know, you ran across the right channel. I, I, I've got all that research. Yeah, I broke all that down. Yeah, Lena. I, I've been seeing you everywhere, too. You be on it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I see these names that be actually everywhere. Y'all y'all doing a, a, a good service to trying to find it out. Um, I don't care if you over there and you see this and I believe that, I believe that. Just, you know, research everywhere. Don't just watch me. Watch everybody video because that's what I'm doing. I'm looking up, trying to see what I don't know. Yeah, I got you, Convict. I'm going to sub to you, too. I'm going to write, make sure I, uh, yeah, make sure you leave a comment because I can't really click your profile and everything. So when I go off, you know, leave a comment. I'm going to be sure I sub to you because, I, you know, I'm trying to sub to everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to get the information like me. So, you know, we got to work together, man. And, and anytime something like this happens, man, we got to work together. I've been, I've been doing research on the Mike Brown, the Trayvons, all this different shit. So this ain't nothing new to me. You know what I'm saying? I guess they could say I big cloud chasing. Ain't that right, Jay? You know what's up with me, homie. You know, I be, I be researching all type of shit. Sometimes I just like to sit back and wait. Because I don't want to talk too fast. You know what I'm saying? Like when I saw the live video, I heard about it. I haven't even watched it. It was like three days later. I still ain't seen the live video. And when I actually, you know, yep, Nicole, yep, you, you're right. And the mom and the dad was laughing in court. I'm for the go, man. I keep saying I'm for the go. But check this out. Check this out. Trayvon Martin is a handsome guy. Y'all really think he would talk to that fat, ugly ass bitch? And she's slow? Think about that for a moment. And she talked with a lisp. That's the worst chick. She fat, ugly, and she talked with a lisp. <laughs> think about that just they logically put that together that they talking for a long period of time on the phone all day come on man Trayvon Martin man Trayvon Martin supposed to be having some dime pieces ain't no fat fun looking chick who can't even fucking speak a coherent sentence that bitch don't even know her ABCs come on man just straight up mm -hmm. <laughs> For real. <laughs> People just got shot at a church not too far from me. For real? Chris! Somebody got shot at a church? Somebody got shot at a church? Nah, I don't know nothing about that. Chat? I don't even know if this is the real chastity. <laughs> She's still suspect, as far as I'm concerned. But she, the, the profile that says Chassie Pregy, oh, if you send it to me, I know you Chassie. <laughs> send it in my inbox. <laughs> if you Chassie, you got my Facebook inbox without me on Facebook. <laughs> oh, this really her. <laughs> it's really her. All right. This is the real Chassie Pregy, ladies and gentlemen. That's my, that's my girl. I'm going to check it out in a second. <laughs> she can't even put a middle finger. <laughs> Is that your profile picture? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> five, people, five people got shot at the church where I live in Memphis. Oh, you live in Memphis, Nicole Ford? I live in Memphis, Nicole Ford. 
It's a small fucking city in a small fucking world. Ain't that something? Yeah, I'll research that in a minute, man. And on a Sunday, must have been Koji. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Right. Look, most of, must have been Koji, huh? Anyway, y'all have a good morning. Or good afternoon. Some of y'all on the east east coast, and some of them, some, some of us on the west coast, and some of us overseas. I got some overseas trolls too. Y'all know what I'm finna do. Y'all see how I see, I see how ghetto I am. I'm ghetto. I gotta plug my box up. Come on, y'all. Y'all excuse my junkie room. Watch, the trolls gonna be like, oh, he's just sitting up researching Kanika all day. He can't clean his room up. Motherfucker, I work seven days a week now. I should be sleep now. How low my battery is? I got 10%. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna watch football for a second? Y'all know I'm finna cut this Cody on. Y'all know how, you know how niggas don't pay for cable no more. Blow it up on 2K. <laughs> I ain't got 2K yet, man. Yeah, I got a. I I I need a new transmission for my car, yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked up. I want to go see Kingsman, and I got the I got the money to go buy this shit, but it's it's a necessity at this point. You know what I mean? And I'm the bootleg man, so I could I could wait for either hit I could wait for it to hit the fucking Cody. Or I could wait for the download. <laughs> you know, download online. I got I got my other computer. Yeah, I got tired of putting this up. So I just, in my room, I just leave this motherfucker on the floor. I got tired of mounting it, moving back and forth, different places and shit. So, uh, yeah, let's pick us a game to watch. And, because I got about 10% on my battery and it, it'll be over. Pulse. <laughs> Kentucky played hard against Florida last night, but they got us. Yeah, Florida. It's, I can't stand them. It's them SEC teams, man. They should just have a, a fucking college. They should just have a college tournament for like SEC and just make them the, beat the hell out of each other and just pick them to play in the national championship. Why not? <laughs> just, the SEC has. No, it doesn't have a conference tournament. The winner of that conference tournament plays in the national championship. Everybody else, they got to work hard to just get the, the buyout, the bid and shit. <laughs> okay. Um, boom, boom. And I am running 17.4. Is there an update? No, there's no update. Let me go check my... I haven't cut my box on so long. I, I don't. I don't have time to watch TV like that. I'll be watching shit on my phone. I got Cody on my cell phone. And that's how I be watching TV, man. At work. <laughs> you know, I do security, so I don't do a lot of work. But it requires me to stay up and be alert. So I have to get home and get sleep. When I sleep a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have time to do a lot of shit. I just went to the store yesterday for about 12 hours and shit. Not 12 hours. I spent about three, four, five hours at the store. <laughs> ah, come on. System, system, system. Yeah, George Soros. Yeah, that's that's the man responsible for Black Lives Matter. Y'all got to look up uh, the details, man. I'm, I'm going to post a video in the comment section about Black Lives Matter. That's a guy that did some research about that shit. But y'all know that that shit is necessarily not about black lives, really. That it's more so about all type of solidarity amongst gay men and all that crazy shit. It's a whole y'all gotta do some research, man. I just I can't be a part of every damn thing. Y'all don't research nothing, man. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not going to tell me, hey, if you get on this plane, we can take you to such and such place. And I'm like, where the fuck is such and such place? Niggas don't even ask questions. Just get on the fucking plane and go. You doing a video about the faggot who said black men <laughs> Or the straight white, or the white men, uh, straight uh, black men, or the, hold on, what you say there? Black men, straight, or the white men of the black race. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? So, so I guess being a black, a straight black man is a sellout? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, Sir, George Soros is a skull and bone member, man. I try not to talk about everything because some of this shit, you know, even doing these videos, man, people don't appreciate this shit. Let them tell it. One dude, like, you you, you better, they'll make you, they'll put, make sure you get end up missing and watch your family. Get the fuck out of here, man. I've been doing this shit for years. I should have been dead if that's the case. And if they come get me, oh, well. I hate sports devil. I'm going to try you first, sports devil. God damn. I know you like, I'm just sitting here. You don't got to look for nothing else to work. <laughs> I miss pro sports. Pro sports don't even work no more, man. Yeah, but uh, y'all got to understand that Obama, all these presidents are ages, man. See, I love to have these conversations. All these presidents are ages. All these government officials are ages. The senators, the governors, all they, they're all agents. They're handpicked. Mike Larry went, uh, he went, he uploaded a video as before, right before I went live on my notification. Like as I went live earlier, if you rewind to the beginning, he actually had a, a notification two minutes before that. Yeah, of course. A Jew started Black Lives Matter. Just like a Jew runs the fucking company of of FNF Realty. I'm tired of talking about this shit. Anyway, uh, y'all know I'm not for to play this damn. Y'all know I'm not for to play this game, man. Y'all know I'm gonna get flagged down. So I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I will be making a video Monday. We calling the health department. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go live, or I might just record it, cause I, I don't, I have to tell them certain shit, and I don't want to be like, you know, getting flagged down. I don't want my videos up with my name and number and shit. But you will get a video Monday. Promise you that. As if, as if the Jews don't come get me. <laughs> Y'all be easy.